Welcome to the Loretto in the South. Loretto is in the South started in Loretto, Kentucky. The city is named after the sisters because of the school they started for frontier children. The name Loretto originated from Loretto in Italy. Three sisters started the education of children in Kentucky. These three sisters were Mother Joanna Miles, age 25, Sister Rose Elder, age 21, and Sister Regina Cloney, age 21. Joanna Miles was born in Kentucky on November 7, 1800, and was the 17th member of the Sisters of Loretto. Rose Elder was born in Ohio on June 15, 1804, and was sent to Loretto as a boarder when she was 10 years old, and she became a sister at the age of 13. Regina Cloney was born in Maryland on August 29, 1904, and became a sister at age 8. In May of 1823, um, these three sisters began a journey from Kentucky to Perry County, Missouri. Father Narings wrote a letter to Bishop DeBerg of St. Louis describing those who would be making their way to Missouri. They left Kentucky on May 12, 1823, and Father Narings accompanied them. When they got to Perryville, they settled into their home in a seminarian, blessed it, and named it Bethlehem because of the poverty. Father Nerings died on August 12, 1824. Bishop DeBerg wanted to establish a convent school in Louisiana to provide a Catholic education for the many planters who lived in that area. The Sisters of Loretto believed that they were destined to establish a school in Louisiana. The Sisters left Perryville on November 27, 1825, and settled in Assumption, Louisiana, in early December of 1825. The Loretto community began educating the Cahoos, who were heavily discriminated. And the sisters did not speak French, so that was a challenge. In three months, the community started to receive more and more people who wanted to be part of the Loretto community. Six weeks later, Bishop Rosati visited the sisters in Assumption and the school. Sister Joanna wrote a letter to Bishop Rosati expressing concern of the school and its poverty. There were eight postulants and a few schoolgirls. Sister Joanna began to have frail health in her early 20s. At 24, she died. They wanted more sisters at the convent, but that got denied. Sister Joanna left the convent and went to New Orleans. She never saw her two sisters, who, were tra who she traveled with again. Sister Regina was named the superior at La Fourche. Mother Benedict Fenwick wrote a letter to the sisters, pleasing them to return to Loretto. In the letter, the Hart sisters and Mother Barrett and Bishop Rosati asked them to come back to St. Michael's, so they went back. There was a rivalry between Mother Dutour and Mother Odd because they both had schools and were both from a convent. Although the meetings with Mother Dutour, the rivalry didn't settle. What was it like traveling so much with the sisters? Well... Traveling was a bit hectic since each had our own personal belongings, and we were so different. But might I tell you, it was a great experience. How was the housing and sleeping environment? The housing was not bad because we were always on the go, and we were never at a place for too long. But the sleeping environment was not as good because the beds and stuff <laughs> Did you and the sisters get along well, or were there communication issues? 
Well, we got along pretty well, but there were some issues with communication, and often we got in fights, but we were mature young adults, so we got through it. What was it like to be a part of the Sisters of Loretto? Oh, Lord, there are so many amazing things about being a part of this journey. One main thing is meeting new people and continuing my journey with God. What was it like caring for the poor? Well, caring for the poor really made me realize how fortunate I was, and it started my journey off with God. It was a great experience being able to do service with the poor, and it really deepened my faith. The Loretto in the South is currently continuing to live out the community's mission to work for justice and act for peace because the gospel urges us. Traditionally, a teaching order, the Loretto community has expanded its work into many fields to promote justice, including education, health care, elder care, environmental stewardship, and advocacy.